my name is Omaya Naudumbaku. I'm a human settlement officer with UN Habitat. I am also a project officer in charge of the Africa Urban Agenda. My master's degree thesis, which um, won few awards, was looked at the socioeconomic determinants of housing, housing the urban poor in Lagos. Housing has been looked at with, from different angles, but we look at it like it should be holistic. The environmentalists should be involved, the mortgage people who are in charge of finance should be involved, academia should be involved, research institutes, the government. So basically, housing cannot be singled out as a component, but should be looked at holistically, looking at the social cultural background of the people, looking at the available housing finance, because we also noticed that housing finance was really low. I think first and foremost, we have to know what they want. What is it that the people want? Once we know what they want, then we can contextualize what they want. We can start developing models or developing solutions to what they actually want. But we cannot impose whatever we have, our, what we learned in the books, on them, because it's obtainable. For instance, we have cash flow in Nairobi, Kenya, or Kenya, for instance, M-Pesa. People started using M-Pesa because they actually worked with what people want. So as we have also noticed, the urban poor have their collaterals, but we don't know. They have daily money, which we call them um, wages. And if you tell them to probably contribute to the housing fund on a daily basis, it will probably be easier than telling them to contribute on a monthly basis. So we should first contextualize what is it they want and how can we provide it. I think that way, that is the way to go. I think, and that takes me back to conceptualizing, I think we've not done enough of contextualization. Because if we look at the history of architecture, the Roman buildings were built because that was what suited them at that point. When we look at the British buildings as well, they have smaller windows, etc. We look at the American buildings, they've been contextualized to what the people need. So I think for a humid climate, our buildings are too concrete, for instance. And if we tried to conceptualize, maybe we'll have to build with lower or cheaper building materials, and we might not have to import majority of what we import. And that is probably why housing is expensive. So few researchers have made attempts, few researchers like Professor Lusoya, few researchers like Kula Deyemi, few researchers like um, Tunja Dejumo, Dr. Tunja Dejumo, have tried to make, you know, they've, they've attempted to. But because of the funding of research and um, a bit of aloofness for research from the government side, I think there's still more work to be done. I will get there someday. We might crawl, but we'll get there.